Hi, Shalom, Shalom, Rastafari. We're still getting this um, presentation. It's a revelation that <clears throat> the recent um, deaths of uh, Abuna, um, the Ethiopian Archbishop, uh, Paulos, as well as um, Melis Zanawi, at least announced four days apart, brings to mind. And the, this particular, uh, we've been speaking on this area of scripture of Donnell, in the B.U. Don L's uh, prophecy or his tin beat within the Metaf Kedus, within the Holy Scriptures. And and this is 2012, right? This is uh, 2012. And there's a there's a lot of uh, pronostication and speculation of the so-called end of the world and Nibiru, Planet X, the Black Star, the Small Dwarf, um, Star, the, the Passover Comet, um, the Smintanya Shi Kokep, or what we know Bamarinya as the as the star of the eighth uh, millennium, and we've also been ministering and speaking and teaching on um, what we call Islamo fascism or the Islamic fascism. This um, new kind of uh, a dynamic we see in the world, and a lot of this really breaks out since uh, the godless and creeping coup in Ethiopia in, in 1974-75. And Ethiopia, and imperial Ethiopia, should we say, um, Kadamawi Haile Shalasi, or the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, and the events that took place, the great transgression against the King of Kings, it, it, it kind of opened a, a Pandora's box, so to speak, um, as well as the, the prophecy, right? Prophecy, is, prophecy has been fulfilled, prophecy is being fulfilled, and there are certain prophetic signs that we should definitely look forward to. But this particular year, 2012, 2012 is, is very interesting. If you've really been paying <clears throat> attention, as we say, to the to the big picture, this is very, very interesting. Now, um, our computer here, we're trying to actually get get a couple of the graphics, right? A couple of the graphics in order to um, uh, present a kind of a word picture on this. Yovas. But the main thing is the word. So... Let us get into the word. Let's let, let let's uh, uh close this up right here. I'll put this on mute, right? Um, some okay. All right, all right. You know we can listen to music, music. You know, yes, but we need to know the truth, especially in times like these, right? So um, let's delineate this right here, and we had on the screen that I and I. As a true and the faithful Arastafari, we support Ethiopia. We, we, we support, we pray for Ethiopia. We pray for the peace of our Adesiti to Jerusalem, of our New Jerusalem, of our African Zion, our African Zion. Yet at the same time, we also have to study and show I and ourselves approved to Jah Rastafari as, as workmen. And work women that need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. The scripture says that the Almighty, does Hashem, Baruchu, does not do anything unless He reveals. He first reveals these things to His 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 servants, the prophets. And when we say His servants, the prophets, we're speaking um, firstly and foremostly about the Navim or the the Nabiyat. The, the the biblical the scriptural prophets of what they call the Old Testament times, because the the prophets of the Old Testament times, they affirmatively said there would be days like these, and in this particular presentation that we want to present right here, was actually a couple of different subject matters kind of overlap, Yovas and we've been musing and meditating on these things um, throughout. Throughout I and I ministry, but especially this 2012 and 2012. So I think we will begin first of all with the scriptures. I think it'll be good for I and I to begin with the scriptures. And like we said, we we don't have all of the graphics and everything in a row. 
to really present this in, in, in a really visual form, but we would, would, would beg the, the listener and, and the viewer of this to, to, to get their pen and paper and, and, and the sacred scripture, the holy scripture, the holy Bible, and, and to approach this with a, a, a willing and attentive mind, willing to receive the truth. And we pray that you have a love of the truth. You know, that means that some of the things that we're going to touch on and even discuss in this, this might be a series right here, but that we're going to discuss at this present time are not things that we really like. You know what I mean? When we really look at the big prophetic, prophetic picture and, and, and look at what has happened as well as because of, 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 of ignorance, of, 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 of um, disobedience, by our beloved people, but the, the careless Ethiopians at home and abroad, and, and, and the lost sheep, because it's really in our hands, you know, we can say that Yeshua, yes, this is Ethiopian, he is black, yes, this is true, that according to the truth of it, but it's the spiritual part of the matter that many of us still have to digest. You know what I'm saying? We have to eye jest if it, or, or live jest, if you, if you please. But Bamarinya, in them heart, we call that Muwahad, Tawahido. So, I and I, first of all, let's just reaffirm this. We support Ethiopia in its struggle. You see, there's a, there's a struggle. There's a tigal. There's tigadilo. There's a struggle. We are contending earnestly for the faith that was once uh, delivered to the Kedusan, to the Holy Ones, those who, are, who have been set aside, set apart to, to God's very dear elect. But here's the good news, that he said that he would cut those days short. And we see the visitation of Moa and Bezazem, Negeri Yehuda, Karamawi, Haila Selassie. Siyume Egziari Her Negusa Negest the Ethiopia as a fulfillment of that son of man upon his throne of glory. Now, some Christians have already made up their minds about, well, what is the sequence of prophecy? And many of us growing up in Christian homes and being exposed to various denominational uh, uh, Christian beliefs or perspectives, we have either heard these things, maybe we've accepted these things, maybe we've been forced to accept these particular um, interpretations, but moreover, when you start to study the word, you'll recognize there are many interpolations where this is being read into it without the shred of empirical or, 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 or logical or factual evidence. And this is one of the reasons why we talk, speak on some of the pictures or some of the, you know, to show you as well or to refer to certain resources. Now, the vid that we did before this was on um, some books by Yoel Natan. Let's see if we can move this around and just, and just uh, refer to this right here. Now, we have this machine on a search right here. This is another, another drive that we have here as well. We have it on a search. So... Um, if it goes a little bit slow, right, if, if some of the windows right here move a little bit slow, um, we, uh, we uh, apologize about that. Um, not being sorry, but we apologize. You actually please forgive I and I and please be patient. All right, so um, here we have this particular banner right here, and as you can clearly see that the... Two flags are, there's a struggle going on right here. Right? We talk about restoration of the monarchy. But see, the key, my brothers and sisters, Rastafari, is we. I and I are that key. We are that, that new foundation. We are that, 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 that true nobility. We understand the, the kingdom. It's a seek ye first what the kingdom of God and his righteousness so a lot of folks getting caught up in the elections and who's going to be the president or even in what's going to happen in Ethiopia, you understand. But see, you're not seeking first the kingdom of God. You're seeking an earthly government. You see, the only real footstool of the kingdom of God that the world has truly known is in the presence of the king of kings, Kadamawi Haile Selassie. 
And since that particular um, great transgression against the King of Kings, we are in a new uh, prophetic space and time. Jehovah's, and it's only that word, the, the love letter of God in Christ, which is the Bible and the Spirit of God, that will help us to properly um, and rightly um, um, divide the word of truth and properly interpret and discern. Now, this is a page right here, which you're seeing right here. It's one of the I and I um, um, pages right here. Let's see if we can uh, bring this up to the top. This is a resource, one of our resource, um, one of our resource uh, pages right here. Um, if you click, if you click on the resource tab, we call it the study page, right? The study page. If you go right here, it's a study page. You click right here, right? You click right here, the resource center, and then you come to this particular study page over here. And we have the Lion of Judah study guides, and there's other PDF and downloads um, that we have available. Some of the basics, discipleship application, our Hebraic calendar, because it's important for I and I to know what uh, what time it is. Um, the LOJ, the the Sabbath readings, the Sabbath house readings, the readings and feedings. You understand um, the Torah portions. So that is very, very fundamental. That's that's crucial right there. For I and I, we also have um, the line of Judah, the invitation, which is an excellent threefold for those who um, sometimes ones want to have materials, written materials. So if you go to this resource page, some of them are threefolds. So it's basically one sheet of paper, right, for those who are out there on ministry or would like to have something to um, give a, a answer to anyone who asks or, or who seeks. In fact, in, let's just go to our Bible right here in first, uh, I think it's Peter. Is it first Peter? Um, it says right here, first Peter chapter 3, chapter 3 verse 15, it says, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart. In other words, make him holy, right? Make a make a, a Adonai Yahweh, right? Holy in your hearts, set apart in your hearts, keeping the remembering the Sabbath, and 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 keeping it set apart, keeping it holy from from other days. You understand? Is 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 the beginning? That that's the like the some say the test commandment, but that's the test article right there. You understand? That's like the that's step one, right? The step one in order to sanctify Adoni Yahweh or Gitai Kziyabihir Lotus Subhat in your heart and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason, right? A reason, not a debate, my brothers and sisters, but a reason of the hope. What, what expectation do we have? I mean, what do we expect? I mean, what do we hope for? Are we just uh, believing the news reports and, and what we hear in the media and a lot of the psychobabble of the conspiracy theories and realities and the so-called New World Order? I mean, that whole idea about the New World Order is, is a real big farce. Not that there are not these attempts by the globalists and, 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 and the uh, Satanists and, 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 and evil people, rather that it's a new world order. You see, you see, if you go and look at 1776, in fact, all of this right here, you recall this right here, all this right here, what does all of this right here tell us? Right? All this right here, if you look at this, it speaks about 1776. Right? Down here, you, you've seen other vids that actually go into these sort of details. You understand there's other vids out there which break down this 1776. A new coeptus, right? Nouveau ordo seclorum. They say, well, they they're gonna do the new world order. They they're trying to do it. See, see, that's a lie right there. See, see, you're believing what you're hearing, but you're not studying it for yourself. So when you believe all this that you hear and don't study it, ask yourself, wait, if this is 1776, right? And this is a U.S. dollar. We know that this is in effect, right? Right? This is in effect, so forth and so on. 
We always saying B for Babylon or New York, New York, you know, so forth and so on. Now, if this was from 1776, Adam Weishaupt, and, and then it was put on in the 1930s, notice that this was put on here. You know, and they say these these things were put on here in the 1930s by Roosevelt. Now, notice that's the very same time as the King of Kings, the visitation, the revelation of Kedemawi Haile Selassie, of Haile Selassie the first. You but see, no one pays attention to so-called Ethiopia. Ethiopia is not a first world country, right? You know, you know, Ethiopia is the small so-called African, as even Bush said, it's not about one small country, but it's about a new world order. He said that in 1991, on September 11th, and September 11th is Ethiopia's New Year's Day. But, but how many out there really know that? And, and how many videos have you seen on conspiracy so-called theories or reality? Because it, there, there is a reality of conspiracy. How many of these have even touched on it? Oh, it's just a coincidental point. It really doesn't mean much. And that's where they make their errors. And I pray that you, my beloved brothers and sisters, don't make those same errors. So it's not a new world order, first of all. In fact, we can call it maybe a new, new world order. It's a tenth as a new, new world order. You understand? But the old world order, you understand, is the Gentile, white Western world conspiracy or the, or the Gentile world domination. That's how the Bible describes it. And this is the seal of this Gentile world domination. But how can you say it's, it's a coming thing? It's a it is thing. You understand? But as they scheme a scheme against God and Christ, you know, and the Almighty also is the best of all planets. This is a truism. You understand? And He is the Almighty. So, my brothers and sisters, do not be, do not be afraid. You understand? Instead, as the Scripture says, we must sanctify. Right? As it right here, we must sanctify, sanctify the Lord God in our heart. That's our holy place in our consciousness. Right? And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope, the expectation. You understand? I and I have overcome. We have not. We shall. We have already. As little children, John's epistle will tell you that. You over. So if you say, we will in the future, it will be manifested. We have already. You over. You have to recognize the right reception, the right Kabbalah, Kabbalah of the word. This is why we study. All right, to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and reverence, with meekness and reverence. Now, we're not going to get into that particular verse there, but we mentioned, um, we mentioned uh, 1 Peter 3 and 15, and perhaps we'll make an update to this particular page and put that up here so ones can understand why these these um app, why these learning materials that we have here you understand some of them are books pdf books some of them are threefold pamphlets such as the loj invitation you understand so different um uh groups you know different different uh uh, brothers and sisters in different areas and involved on different levels of ministry and outreach and churchical activity um, can print these out. You'll send double sided. You'll always go to say even Kinko, spend a five or, or a ten, or you understand, and print out a, a hundred or a couple of hundred. You may find another print shop where you can even print out more. You understand for your money and for the money that you're putting forward, right? And, and it's a threefold, and it can be shared with those who are willing. You understand? This one here is on the Mekut area, the Mekut area, I and I, spiritual accountability. You understand? It's an overview. There's also the one here on eternal life, right, which is a new covenant, the creed, and we need to teach on that as it connects with this Torah portion on uh, uh, Re'e, right, the Re'e portion which is, uh, was it, 40, 40, uh, seven? 47th uh, Torah portion for uh, Devarim, which speaks on the blessings and the curses, and it helps us to ground this idea of word, sound. What is word, sound? Word, sound, and power. You know, so it's not just something that we say, but we grow up. We have to grow up. All right, so this is eternal life. These are three folds, 
right? These are some of the three folds right here, eternal life of him, right, of, of his imperial majesty, the covenant, the terms, right, of God and Christ according to the scripture. We touched on this in the previous one, the HSIU, or Hala Selassie I University, um, the one-on-one for I and I Amharic Literacy campaign. This particular one right here, um, uh, the brother Michael Chan, we just forgot this particular messianic Jewish brother here who wrote this. We had got to meet him before he had passed away. It's, Are You Not As the Children of the Ethiopians, chapter 15, from the Revelation 27.org. Very, 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 very good read there. Um, marijuana Christianity and, and marijuana to really understand that. This is not something we're making up. People say, oh, we're making up. It's only because they're ignorant. You understand of the full story, of the half of the story that many of their racist people decided not to tell. You understand the other half of the story concerning Ethiopia. You understand concerning I and I divine heritage. Now, um, there's a declaration of sovereignty, a printout of that. You understand a PDF of that. The good news, um, seventy five hundred. I know the I and I Wendem. I don't know if he had a. Uh, well, the OBO was speaking about this right here that you he was checking out. Because ones are beginning to recognize that some of the things that we've said already, you know, we're saying, and as they're studying, they're beginning to really understand what's going on. You know, saying, from the Word of God, being guided by the Spirit of God, the Memphis Kedus, and, and we say, but, um, you know, we're saying, we say, hallelujah. You know, saying, hallelujah. Praise be to Jah. Rastafari. Now, L-O-J-U-C-C, right here, this is our universal church code, a document right here for those of us um, seeking to go forward or establish um, fellowship, churchical ministries and partnerships in whatever area we are in. And this is very important when we start to recognize um, the so-called handwriting on the wall. You also remember that the, the key thing is to be rooted and grounded. You know and to pray, you know what I'm saying, and 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 to and to seek John's face, to seek His word. You know what I'm saying. And if we're convicted about this, then we have to go forward, and we know that this is what we have been called, or that is what we've been called to do. We also have the Universal Declaration of Human Rights here in the English, as well as in the Bamarinya. We have it in the Amharic. Although what we need is to get the preface translated. Well, we notice that they did not translate the preface in this. And if you look at the preface in the English, right, and then if you are able to understand or if you have an uh, Ethiopian brother or sister and that's able to uh, help you understand the preface here, or the preamble, what they call the preamble, actually more correctly is the preamble. It's very, very important. And it could, most likely it's for political reasons. Now, there's also many more... Um, we have to touch on this one right here, the high path, right? The learn and hard path. So this kind of goes with the with the um the Amharic one on one, H S I U one on one. Um African uh, uh Zion, this is a excellent educational resource for ones who have youths and children and hopefully one can get inspired from this right here. Um the sacred art of Ethiopia's so education guide right here. There is um, Learn Amharic, a visual guide here, some of the basics for our brothers and sisters, as well as more advanced um, course materials we have right here as well. You understand um, the FSI, Foreign Service Institute, um, um, Volume 1 and the Volume 2, you know, the student textbooks. These are PDFs right here you can download. Um, if you we move on, we have software, some free software, the the Yota or the IOTA, them hard Bible software. You can download this here. The Word Bible software as well. You've seen I and I we utilize this teaching from this. There is the Ethiopic and Hark fonts, you know, download right here. Another um software. So this is freeware, freeware and shareware. The overs. Then we also have some books. Some of the recommended books, right? The Schofield. Um, these are these are PDF downloads, free downloads. You can download it, use it on your mobile device, uh, gratis. Benetta, 
All right, so here's the Schofield Reference Bible right here, um, the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary right here, from Babylon to Timbuktu right here, right? Um, the Valley of the Dry Bones, and these are all books that we have um, taught on and, and referred to, as well as um, Judah Trembles Under Rome. In other words, our Judeo-Christian Judah is linked with Ethiopia. We have to recognize that with, with the, the remnant Right with the, the the king's house, with the the monarchy, Judea. You see, that's the half of the story that they don't tell you out there. But these documents, study them and find the truth for yourself. Um, there's also some other materials here that we have. Um, um, this is by Messian Dread. Very interesting, which shows you know pointing out those who are creeping. You know, those who have crept in on the way is, this is the Christafarianism, or don't be a Rasta, uh, a be a, don't be a Rasta, be, a, be live a Rasta, something, this is still interesting what he's pointing out right here about wolves in sheep clothing. Um, we have uh, Cultural Genocide, Dr. Ben Yohanan, Black Jews, We the Black Jews. You understand this goes along with Valley of the, you know, Valley of the Dry Bones and from Babylon Timbuktu. This is an excellent book, um, one of the first books we read by Horace Campbell here, Rasta and Resistance from Marcus Garvey to Walter Rodney. Then we have the real facts about um, Ethiopia, an older document by J.A. Rogers, an oldie but a goodie. You understand, an actual witness to the King of Kings. So it's interesting to study what others have said of our own people, of our faithful people, these who have brought also forward the truth about ourselves, you know, saying, in order to restore our true identity, who we are, you know, saying, especially who we are in God. We're not the lies and the slander of uh, blatant white supremacy and, and all, all of that, the world. You know, saying, so we're in the world, but we can come out of that worldly misunderstanding, mis translation. This is some other books also as well, the Mystery of Christ, the Farianism or Christ of Farianism, um, the political correct update by Messian Dread right here. Another book by J. A. Rogers, The Five Um Black Presidents by J. A. Rogers, um the Negro, a beast or the image of God. Because a lot of these Christians, European white Christians that are speaking about the New World Order, the Mark of the Beast, and all these other things, they seem to avoid this subject matter. They, they make it a small thing, but it's a big thing. You understand? And, and if, they, if they really love Jesus or Yeshua, then they should be willing to speak the truth. You understand? The full truth. The, all the truth. You understand? You shall know the truth. And now, is the Negro a beast? It's a reply to this because there's a lot of a demonization. And many of our careless people, whether in the music or show business industry, they are perpetuating these sort of images, you understand, these stereotypes. So it's almost like a setup, too. There's also a setup that's going on as well. Let's Make a Slave, the Willie Lynch papers, right? Um, the, Excellent, you know, to really understand how to deactivate. There's even um, ones have written um, uh, certain texts about how to deactivate, right? How to deactivate the Wooly Lynch chip <laughs> versus the death of the Wooly Lynch speech, right here. This also book, right here, Pillars in Ethiopian History by um, the Afro American, African American uh, scholar who, who, um, received, I think, uh, um, uh, a medal from His Majesty, like an award from His Majesty for his excellent research. One of the unsung heroes right here, um, or heroes, one of our unsung heroes right here, um, William Leo Hansberry, who wrote The Pillars in Ethiopian History. You understand? So we get to recognize that a lot of the scholars who really reconstructed you know, and deconstructed the white supremacists and the Gentile, you know, um, the Gentile world domination. Remember, it's the Gentiles versus Israel when Israel, um, when when Judea was destroyed in 70 A.D. 
many of the people to hide from white supremacy of that day went into Africa and the roots or the remnant was already there within Ethiopia. This is why this book is very, very interesting for those who are studying the Queen of Sheba and, 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 and would like to get a little bit more than what is just put out there, a lot of the disinformation. This is an excellent book right here, fully vetted with resources as well, references. And it's interesting that um, a lot of this is avoided in the popular um, um, mind control media. Um, there's a uh, Metunet, uh, the Meduneta, the Meduneta, the Volume One by Raoun Amen Nefa. You understand, one of the first black men to translate and really interpret from 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 uh, uh, Ethiopic or black mind. When we speak about the mysteries of ancient Egypt, excellent book there, as well as Meduneta, Volume Two by Raoun Nefa Amen, right here. There's also we have an introduction, right? An introduction to the study of classical African classical civilizations by uh, Renuko uh, Rashidi. You have seen an excellent one of our modern day excellent scholars right here, bringing a lot of um, 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 buried, suppressed facts. You understand? Resurrecting these truths, right? So these are all free downloads. So if you enjoy and are growing and are building on these teachings, Rastafari teaching and books, please consider, you know, supporting this particular ministry, of course. A free will um, donation um, is, is kindly received, and this goes towards the, the propagation of the gospel of the King of Kings and His Christ, the gospel of His grace and His truth. Now, these are the pamphlets of the, the threefold double-sided threefold pamphlets right here that we're speaking about for those Havrim, for those Wendemoch, for those going out there two by two or even singularly, but we really highly um, recommend going forward two by two because that's the teaching of the Moshiach. That's the teaching of Yeshua. So these, we're not going to go through each of these right now. Um, there's some which are still missing. Um, a few of them are missing, but the majority of them are available right here. Now, actually, we had, um, t we was going to touch on something right here in order to continue with the main point that we were making previously, you know, saying, and that we'll like to make on Islamofascism, because some have wanted to, to, to debate, but we're presenting credible, empirical, logical facts that have not been addressed and this is why we say that you have to avoid once baiting you into debating and trying to system test like what you know so forth and so on but they're not really answering or addressing the information that has already been presented so this is a wealth of information that's been presented and those who are in partnership ministries should avail themselves of downloading everything and properly um, you know archiving what we have at the site, the printed materials as well as the videos, those who are seeking to do other fellowship churchical ministries in the name, the Hashem, in the name of Kadamawi Haila Selassie, our true and faithful Rastafari brother and, and sister in uh, nationally, locally, nationally, and internationally around the world. Please avail yourself of these resources. You understand, have one within your group you understand, or ones who make it their responsibility to download all of the printed materials and also to back up the videos, whether on Ethiopian World Net and, and, and other channels out there, broadcast channels as well. Now, with that being said, we didn't think we, we would get into um, reviewing a lot of our um, materials, but for the reason we're going to touch on this old um, previous material that we had published, this is uh, more about 20 or so years ago, and 20 or more years ago, many of these materials, as you see right over here, this is a very interesting one, 1995, if you look at this, um, this is a pamphlet right here that we wrote in 1995, and it, there's a chart about um, uh, a prophetic uh, uh, chart saying that when you see these sort of things come to pass, you know, based on the scripture, but updated for us of this generation. And it's interesting, as we looked at a copy of this recently, it seems like we had a grace period of 10 or, or more years 
right, between then and now, and it seems as though things are rapidly escalating once again. But it's interesting because we actually thought that some of the things that we, where we're at today, it seems like it was coming to that point then, but there was a grace, there was an amazing grace period because Hashem, Ha Elohim Baruchu, the true and living God, is a lover of humanity, and he's not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He always, that's why when people start to try to predict, you know, what's what or when it's going to happen, we're not to deal with those, kind of put a date on this, so to speak, but to bear witness to that which is revealed based on his word and spirit and in truth as a warning, as a warning. So, with that being said, right, with that, we're touching on those particular points there, we're going to probably pause for the cause, right, and we'll, we'll put this out basically reviewing our resource center, the resource and the reference um, materials, and then we'll pick up on what we're, we're teaching on right here in this particular revelation concerning this, this trifecta, you understand, in this very time that we see that seems to be a manifestation and a revelation of Daniel 11 and 43. So my brothers and sisters, once again, let's uh, put, this, uh, put this up because this is very, very important. And, and we're going to explain more and give you certain documentation so you can understand why this is a key part of this prophetic um, um, equation that we're in, the signs that we've seen in Libya, in Egypt, and now most recently in Ethiopia, all in this year, 20. Twelve. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters. In a Rasia Dinos Teferi, this is Wendem Yadun reporting for the LOJ Society of Imperial Majesty and broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net. Join us on Ethiopian World Net on the Facebooks as well. And um, Shalom Ras Teferi. May grace, may the grace and the peace of, of Abba, our Father. And Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, be with you all. Shalom. Rise to Ferry.